Hi, I'm Janae Meadows of JanaeMeadows.com and today I'm going to show you some of the basics of layers in Illustrator. Okay, so got ourselves the Mahalo logo and I'm going to show you Mahal. He has a bunch of layers inside the layers, so right now it looks like if you go over to your layers palette, let's get that out of the way, okay. To get bring up your layers palette, you're going to want to go up to window, go, oh, go on down, two layers, there you go. You see, there's only one layer to this, but is there? So if you want to see the truth about how this image is made up, click on this arrow right here, this little guy. Let's get in there, can I? Yes, I can. Okay, so, if you want to see the truth about this image of what it's really comprised of, just click this little arrow guy here, and you can see, whoa, all sorts of stuff. Oh my gosh. So whoa, crazy. Okay, let's move that over here, move that over here. So it looks like it's one layer, but really there's layers within the layers. And how layers work are is it's just, it's like you got a bunch of pieces of tracing paper on top of each other. You create one layer, then let's say you want to create something, another drawing, you can create a whole new layer, it'll be another layer on the layer, and you just keep on if you want. You can go to layers forever if you want to, but it, the advantage is, you can turn layers off, you can turn them on, you can delete layers, you can bring up this image on top of this one. So it's, there's a lot of, it's a good advantage in kind of knowing what a layer is all about. So, like I said, okay, so we got here, we could, we've could we dropped down the arrow and you can see all the different paths that comprise this one image. So if you wanna just uh, click on one of them, like I will, see uh, that that particular path is is on that layer. So if I didn't, if I didn't want to look at that anymore, if let's say I wanted to take that out, I could actually just click on the eyeball. It's gone. Turn it back on. Turn it off. And you can also, if you don't, if you want to see just the wireframe image, go up to your very top guy, your big layer one. Put the finger in the eye socket. Hold down Command and click, and there you go. And you can just see the only, just uh, just the outlines. And if you want to bring it back, same deal. Bring it, but this time it's not a finger anymore; it's a cursor. And you poke it, and there you go. Poke the eye; it's blind. Um, yeah, you can also see that what happens. You'll know that's the wireframe because the eye becomes blind. So it gets scary. Um, and another thing you can do here is. Uh, you can add a layer on, let's, let's do that, let's add a layer on top of a layer just to show you how that works. So go over to your layers palette and go down to where you see a piece of paper with this little corner turned up and it's going to be create a new layer. Just click it. And then you've got a layer on a layer. Now the layer below it, you can, you can change the order if you want just by clicking and dragging it and you see the number one layer replaces with number two. Now let's say we want to turn this number one layer off so we don't have to look at it anymore. You would just click the eye. It's gone. Bring it back. Easy. Um, you can also lock that layer down so that any amount of scribbling, you know, if you, I tried to go and draw on this layer, I might accidentally move that like I just did. Just, just lock it down so that it's safe. So just click on the lock here. There you go, it's locked. Now I can't, there's nothing I can do. It's totally locked down. Okay, so let's say we got the second layer here, and we're gonna let's dress up the Mahalo a little bit. Let's add something on there. Mahalo is awesome. Mm. Now we've got a layer of awesome and a layer of Mahalo. And if I wanted to put that one right over top of it, I could. But let's say I don't know. I want to take it under. Just click and drag that layer two underneath and you see that you can see how the layers work there real good where it, it, it's just the, the is awesome is shining through behind the mahalo now you know that is awesome you can't really read it anymore so let's delete that layer it's really simple just click the layer highlight it so it's highlighted in blue go down to that little trash can oh it's gonna ask you, you sure you want to delete that layer yes I'm sure gone. Also, if you've got sort of a 
bad eyesight or you just want to be able to see the layers a little bit better it's, you know those icons are kind of small there go up to your layers palette up into the upper right hand corner bring it down that drop down menu go all the way to the bottom to panel options click that now this is kind of like if you have a Mac computer and you're adjusting your icon size or your dock down at the bottom it's kind of the same thing or your folders you've got right now it's at medium let's make it big so I can really see it click on that click OK and you see how much bigger that guy became now let's go back to it one more time panel options sometimes you're going to want to make it small actually smaller because you can have a really detailed uh, a file and it's going to have like 100 layers in it and it becomes hard to open that window all the way so if you make them tiny enough you can have a lot stacked in there and so you can really see what you're doing so if you go to small same deal, except there's no, you don't get to see a little icon picture anymore. Oh, so if you can't see it, if you don't have an image anymore, how can you tell what it is? It's hard to memorize layer one, layer two. Just double click on the layer name. And what you bring up here is a layer options box. And we can name this Mahalo. Mahalo. And you can actually choose too here what color your uh, edges will be. So right now we have it light blue. Check, check this out here. Like, I click on that, it's light blue. You see the anchor points and everything. Sometimes, you know, that might even be hard to see when you're working with a blue image. So we have the option of changing it to red if we want. Now you can really see it, so that's good. All right, now that you've layered it up, why don't you check out some of the other tutorials going on here. And if you want to check out what I'm up to, go to JanaeMeadows.com. Is that good enough? Yeah. Okay.